Hey folks, good afternoon. I am so, so sorry for the delay. Um, Drew and I were getting the stream set up to go. We were kind of picking up the bedroom and I had another migraine starting. Um, I took all my meds and um, I'm kind of ahead of it, but don't feel, don't feel bad for me because um, it's, I know where they're coming from and uh, it's going to be resolved soon. So um, I've got to deal with it for now. But anyway, puppies are 13 days old. Um, uh, they are Cavalier King Charles Spaniels for anybody who um, is not familiar with us. Um, we have one girl and five boys, which is fun because our eight week or our nine week old litter was five girls and one boy. Um, but we started out as a um, nine puppy litter. We um, unfortunately lost three, uh, but now the, the six, six for a Cavalier litter is still pretty big. Um, an average, litter size for Cavaliers is four to five. Um, and so six is already on the big side. Um, so nine is like really pushing the limits. Um, and Kelsey said it really well. Um, um, I was trying to say kind of what she said and she just put the words really well together. Um, and what she said was, um, that it's nature's way of kind of correcting um, Missy's litter size to be more appropriate and to correct that, that awkward, <laughs> awkward, that too big size of nine that her body probably can't support well. They probably, it would be difficult to really make enough milk for nine puppies. You know, there, there is a supply and demand, but there, there is, you know, kind of some limits. Um, it's not an endless supply. Um, and so, but I thought she put that really well, that it was nature's way of correcting a very sizable litter to a more appropriately sized litter that she can, um, she can support, support in a healthy way. Um, because the puppies are going to get all of the nutrients and Missy, just like in people, Missy is just going to get what's left over. And that's why we still give her the prenatals, just like with people, she still gets her prenatals as long as she's nursing. Um, because all of her nutrients are going to the milk um, and going into the puppies. Uh, her milk won't be any poorer quality if she's malnourished. She'll just become more malnourished. So that's why we always try to encourage them to uh, eat. And we have, uh, where's my Doc Roy's? We have this um, this gel supplement. It's kind of like it's like the stuff, but for moms. Um, so uh, we have all the pillows laid out right here. Um, we don't have the bed made properly because uh, Missy, that's under the bed, is like her happy place when um, when the puppies are not needing anything. She likes to go under the bed. Unfortunately. We have to block it off because um, sometimes the puppy will start fuss puppies will start fussing and it can be difficult to get to her um, if she's not really feeling up for uh, for momming them. Um, she'll use it as a place to kind of hide. Um, but anyways, I am actually <clears throat> so my migraine started when I was actually just starting to work on a message to. Um, some families about these guys. Um, and so if you are a family who is kind of been expecting to hear from me, um, um, I should put some glasses on so I don't look so silly. So I'm like all squinty. Where are your glasses? Um, up uh, by my water bottle, by, by the plant from Enzo's mom. Enzo's mom, I have your plant right over here. It's doing really well. 
as a piano player. Like you wonder? You yeah. Wonder. <laughs> um, I'll be sending out that text. I'm, I'm trying to do it um, before my vision gets too bad. Um, and so that way we, but we want to reach out to you and touch base about kind of what you're feeling um, about Missy's puppies and um, giving you some dates about, you know, pickup week and um, just asking if you have any questions, if you want any more videos of the individual puppies. Um, and then once we, once we find out from families, which puppies that from these, right, these four priority families of ours, um, once we find out which puppies are and are not being reserved, um, we will let everybody know, um, it will be ahead of reservation, ahead of reservations. We'll let everybody know. Um, which puppies uh, are already being reserved. Um, that said, just a reminder that Missy, or I'm sorry, um, in September, we are having our wave of um, uh, three litters. Remy is due September 26th, Robin is due September 29th, and Myra is due September, or I'm sorry, October 2nd. And, um, so it's within, they're all within like five or six days of each other. Um, and so we're going to do reservations. The first letter will be born. Let's just say they're all born on their due dates. So first letter born the 26th, um, and the next letter comes the 29th. And, you know, then we'll be waiting for Myra to have her puppies and she has her puppies. And so that will mark the, the date basically for when we can count on reservations happening. Um. And so that's why we're kind of going by the third letter um, because we just want to know that we'll have that time and we will do reservations when they are two weeks old. And so we thought, cause we don't want to do, we were going to do it when they were one week old because we have already had these puppies for a little bit of time, but we don't want families to, oh, yeah. we want families to have enough time to see um, the third letter to um because i know like the first litter you feel like you get to know certain puppies and then so the next litter comes along and um you just don't feel quite the same excitement for them and so and i feel like that's what happened with robin and daisy last fall okay. um okay. and so but the difference is that they were two whole they were like two weeks and two days apart so there was a big gap that was where we were waiting okay. Um, and Robin's pregnancy like completely overshadowed Daisy's, whereas um, I think with the kitchen stream, we're we're gonna keep because uh, Amelia stays with us um, through mid September, so we'll just keep the kitchen stream Hi. through that time, and so you guys will kind of see their pregnancies um, progress, um, and so you'll basically be able to follow the three moms as as their pregnancies continue, um, and. When Amelia goes home, you know, we'll have Mocha, we'll just continue the kitchen stream. Um, just so that you guys can kind of see what's going on. Um, especially when they are more pregnant, we don't want them um, wandering too far. And so we'll either keep them in the kitchen or we'll like, um, when they start getting real, they get, get real attached to us. And so we'll, um, we'll start just kind of letting them follow us around the house. Um, and so, um, I think that, I think that each, I think each mom has, there are families that are interested in puppies from particular moms. And so I think it's, it's going to work out very nicely. Um, there are all this timing and everything with them all being together. I think it will all be worth the hard work in the end. Yeah. I think that, um. Families are going to be able to find the puppies that they want because that's another thing is um, in speaking with a family earlier today, um, I told them that, you know, it, it's okay if you want to wait because we don't want you to settle for a puppy that you don't want as much now. And then you bring your puppy home and then you see reservations starting for 
um, the three litters coming up and you see a puppy that completely fits the bill. And By the way. Right. What, one thing that we have learned too is that when you're picking your puppy, it, back to the holder, your family member sort of thing, it needs to be a good fit. You don't want to settle. And so if there's something that really, that is something that is really important to you, um, please sure. don't be shy in letting us know. Yeah, tell us, oh, hey. That's, yeah. Uh, because we, we, we are very aware of that because, and it's, it's even more important for ESA puppies because you need it to, you need to click. And if you, if you find, um, Hi. like me originally, when we first got into Cavaliers, Hi. maybe you know that I was really partial to, um, Blenheims and tricolors, mostly Blenheims, um, it was like primarily a very classic blend that just like melted me. Um, and really short of that, like when we got Missy, I just, I couldn't connect with her. And it was, it was really, really difficult um, because it just wasn't what I had pictured in my head. And I know that sounds silly and it probably sounds vain and superficial. And I'm sorry for that, but it's human nature to want to be near and go toward and be with things that are more attractive to us, be it physically or otherwise. Um, and in my case, um, I just found Blenheims with like with a thumbprint absolutely to die for. And Ruby's just didn't have the it factor to me at the time, at the time. Um, and so when and we got Missy, it was just really hard to connect with her and to bond with her because it wasn't what I had worked up in my head. And so we don't want you to settle if, if um, the puppy that you want is not available, please don't be afraid to, to say something and, and let us know what what those things are. And to be fair, at the time, um, you weren't really looking for an ESA. We we're just more looking for. A yeah, we were looking animal. for like a family dog. Yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't being picky about what my preferences were right. either. Because yeah. Missy is a good dog. She's a she is a really good dog. She's I good. Mean, her like her old soul as a puppy really has worked out nicely. I really yeah. enjoyed. She's become such a nice little. Oh, hi guys. I see the puppies are. She's eating like one kibble at a time, away like, from the food dish. There you go. She's gonna pick up like one kibble, walk away, munch on that one, and then come back. Oh, I know, but you're so hungry. Here. Let's see. There we go. Come on, Missy. Come on. What? Really? Crap. Why would you do this to me? Yeah, you can eat while laying down. You can eat while laying down. Oh, you know what? That's what I used to do for her. Uh, I forgot about that. Here, let me see. Let me look at this. I know how you like it. I remember. This is how you love it. She used to, uh, we would do this for her to get her to eat. And um, she started becoming such a princess about it that it became the only way she would eat, as if we brought her handfuls of food mm -hmm. and fed it to her. Because I'm a princess. Um, but uh, what? I'm really excited for our oh, our puppies this fall. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, nose, nose, nose. Oh, nose, nose, nose. Um, and we also realized that Missy's litter really kind of did a roller coaster for, you know, what puppies she was having. Where are you going, little snicker? Um, I was scrolling, um, I don't know if it was on YouTube, Ugh. 
or just through my photos, but, or no, it was YouTube. Um, there was this picture or a video I had of Betty, or it was a short that I made of Betty. And like, or no, 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 that wasn't it. It was a picture of Mocha when she was born. And I was scrolling through and I scrolled through and I thought I was looking at the short that I had recently made of Betty. Um, the one where Missy comes over and like grabs her by the head and takes her out of my hands. Um, and, but that's how much, that's how much they look, that's how much they look alike. Like their, the shapes of their faces, um, the shapes of their heads as puppies right after coming out of the birth canal. Um, it's a lot like humans where they get the cone heads, but with macchiato, not with Spike. With Spike, their heads just kind of stay their puppy shape. <laughs> um, but with macchiato, they have a bit of that cone sort of shape. Um, you get the cone heads just going, it's just not their snouts. Um, reconnect the, the, uh, the kitchen oh. stream. Um, we'll probably do, we'll do weights today, tomorrow, and then probably after tomorrow, we'll go to weeklies. Um, for all the healthy guys, yeah, we, what we would have stopped doing their weights, um, at 10 oh. days. Um, we've oh, kind of just kept on. doing them just because we're already doing them, for the little guys. Oh, um, we might continue weights for a few days on the littler ones just to make sure they stay on track. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry, but we've got to clean them up, dude. I think Drew got weights today already. No, not yet. Oh, I, 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 yesterday? Yeah, I've already done yesterday. I did it yesterday. Um, I felt like you were just popped, or I, was it just... I did want to do a quick check to see if I needed to mix up some of that colostrum um, stuff. I thought you just, like, popped them in. Not I did, I did. I did, just the little guys. Oh. I popped them in just to see if I needed, if like they needed yeah. to be uh, getting some some supplementation. I know, I know, you're getting all wet and uh, you hate it. Oh. Oh, they are leaving. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, these were. These took forever to receive, and so since I finally got them, I thought I would show them to you. But these are the AKC papers. Mm -hmm. um, they finally, their version of expedited is not how I would define expedited. <laughs> uh, you know, at least when you expedite, that usually upgrades your shipping, right? <laughs> at least. If you see. Um, but this is what they look like. Um, you can, you can fill them out at home and send them in, um, but it's a lot easier to do it online and you can just, um, uh, uh you can, you get to save five dollars, um, for just like, just the basic package, just assuming you're just registering them to complete registration and they have your certificate and the pedigree, um, it's $33. To do that um, without like without fancy things like pictures on the certificate and all that, um, but uh, all you have to do is um, so they'll have their number right here, and then they'll have a pin up here, and you'll have you'll need this number, and then you'll need this pin for verification purposes, and then you'll fill out you know all of your information. Um, and then, you know, what, what plan, what package it is that you want. Um, and then, um, I think there's some stuff on here that I'll fill out, but, um, it's really, really simple, really easy. It's $33 if you mail it in, but it's 28 if you do it online. Um, so that's, um, that's what that looks like. So it's a it's an application for registration, I should say. Um, but I've got to mail these to I've got to mail these to uh, families. I felt so bad they were they should have been here 
when four pickups began. Because and, they were expedited. You know, yes. <laughs> because they were expedited. However, maybe expedited for them is just like. Like they look in the stud book faster. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. Towels. Um, when my vision is better, I will, um, or maybe I'll send out messages to families and then just don't expect a response from me for a minute. Um, that way you, you can at least rest easy knowing that I've contacted you because I know that a lot of you guys, um, uh, just get worried when you haven't heard. Um. I will be attaching Drew. We found it to work really, really well when um, he and I are both, um, when it's like a text chain between the three of us um, or four, if, if, it, if you're a couple and um, we've got husband and wife talking to husband and wife, it's, uh, it is, it's really, it's nice because okay. um, it's like, if, you guys have a question for us and I answer and husband has a follow-up question. Uh, it's 2.30. Oh, I'm getting it too. Oh, because it's so hot. Is it the heat? Is it the heat? Awesome. Yeah, okay. Here's my just full. Now we're already doing early releases. Um, Is it a snow day? Um, I'm going to have to send out a message. What was I talking about? Talking about putting uh, as both on the. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um,. It's just, it's so nice when, um, because it's, we can have more of a con, like that conversation that we would have on the phone, but it's kind of like on everybody's own time since we're all attached to the same text chain. Um, we're able to read each other's messages on, you know, when it's convenient for us and we can respond when it's convenient for us. And also, but same for you, um, you guys can respond. And if, um, maybe if you guys can't touch base because you're both at work, um, you know, hubby can just chime in on his own and say, you know, I'll check, I'll check, check with wifey when I get home. But, you know, it just, uh, it helps like maintain an open dialogue. So we all kind of are all, we're all on the same page, um, you know, and it's easy to know if, um, hey, they, they mentioned something to Drew and I don't have to like go back and check with Drew because it's in my messages too. So um, it just keeps every, it's, been really helpful. We did it with the last letter and it was communication was so much smoother. Um, um so don't be um I guess don't be um Alarmed. confused, yeah. yeah, or suspicious when if you get a message that is like a three-way chat, um you are more than welcome to add your spouse. Um do the conversation as well. Um, in fact, we encourage it. So, uh, there's that one. Um, what else? Do anything else? Windows. Oh, I'm sorry. Hide behind my my shadow. I'll face you instead of facing away from me. Okay, you want me to weigh these guys real fast? Yeah. Okay, little stinkers. Poopers. Um, Poopers. What else? What else? 
I am still in my pajamas. I am so sorry. I just changed those. My pajamas oh. were ruined. Stop. <laughs> oh, Missy. Missy, stop. <laughs> Sit down. Baby, sit down. Grumble, grumble. Oh, there's not supposed to be another female in here. Oh, oh. I want to go out and bark at everybody else. She's so funny because she, well, it's not funny. It's getting it's getting Stop. annoying pretty fast, but she, um, she is trying really hard to control and referee everything out there from here. <laughs> and so it's really annoying, especially at night when, um, when she hears dogs over here in the doggy bathroom get into a tussle and she goes running over there wanting to Break police it. it. She no. Barking at the door. At the closed door. You're the girl. You are such a good girl. Um. Oh, oh and oh, I finally felt a little Remy puppy belly too. Did oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you did. Yeah, that's right. You did. Myra's so. got the sweetest oh, puppy belly. Yeah. Belly. Oh my gosh, she's like that she's adorable like, pregnant lady that just has a teeny tiny little little like basketball bump. Yeah. <laughs> she's so it's so darn cute. She is like she's growing fast. She is. Um. All I can think is that she's got a, a sizable litter and like her hormone she her hormones are just like are surging more rapidly because of it because she's got, you know, maybe eight as opposed to four, you know, double double trouble. So oh, tiny. All right, so uh Blenheim yesterday it was four sixty six. Hey. Oh, I usually switch to pounds once they hit four hundred. Oh, okay. Well they're not all at um Sorry. Four ninety. I would say probably once once the bigger ones get to because yeah. it doesn't have to be one point. You pooping? Oh snap! He is. No stinker. You have the. Buzz buzz. Here, potty training. We've also are starting potty training too. For anybody who. Is unfamiliar with our potty training. Let me show you. This is how we start. We start, um, we try to start when their eyes are still closed. Um, this litter, we got a kind of a late start with because of our, our little, little sickly guys, um, unfortunately. But we try to start with their, uh, when their eyes are still, or still sealed. Um, intentionally because um, many of you may be aware of how your senses see you on his heel. Um, when you are deprived of one or more other senses, um, the ones that you do have are going to increase in their are going to become um, even more refined. And so we try to capitalize on that by um, with the pellets, um, when their so when their eyes and their ears are still sealed, their sense of smell, even just for survival, is really really good because they need to be able to smell out mom. They need to be able to sniff out where the milk is, that sort of thing. Um, and so when we when we start with their potty training, we are also taking advantage of their reflex that they have for pottying. Um, we call it the tummy tickle, but when Night, so you can see how Missy is licking just his, licking him and kind of just privates. massaging his abdominal area. Drew and I essentially do that right here, um, like right above his weenie, right where the umbilical cord is essentially. Um, their belly button would be. Um, we just rub them right there, and it it's like a button, they just start going potty. Um, and so we couple that with telling them to go potty, and we're doing it with the pine pellets. Um, so kind of all these things all at the same time to, um, start associating them all together because in a few days, their eyes and ears are going to begin opening. And then we're going to be able to add the visual aspect of the pellets and their potty training to that. Um, and then, um, soon after that, 
they're going to be wanting to get up and leave the nest to go potty somewhere. And that's our golden opportunity to really kind of intervene and start potty training them from the start because this is where they start learning to go potty somewhere else. And where is that place going to be? And why is it going to be that place? Is, is it just going to be the random location because that's what's available? Because that's what's going to lead to um, accidents in the house. That's a mentality that leads to um, the accidents. And um, so what we're trying to do is when they have that, that, or that desire to leave the, their bedding to go, to go potty, um, we want them to have in, in their heads already this idea about the pine pellets that they um, potty in the pine pellets. This is where we go potty. And so when they, yeah, when they feel that urge, that's what comes to mind is, oh yeah, the, the pine, the pellets, because these are, as soon as we open a bag and like pull these out, it, be, it fills the room with pine scent. They are very, 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 um, Engine. yes, they are. Um, it smells really good. Yeah, it does smell good. Um, and so we kind of, you know, it's not any one particular thing. It's all these little things all put together between the timing and um, their development and what they're ready for. Um, and when once all put together and with consistency, that's a big thing is consistency. We want to be able to make sure we're coming in and pottying them often enough. We aim for at least 50% of their um their potty breaks being with the pellets with mom pottying them as they get a little bit bigger we'll stand them up in the pellets and we will give them the tummy tickle um we'll just tell them to go potty um that kind of is part of the transitioning away from mom um but that reflex goes away probably like between three and four weeks and so um while we have a little potty button we want to use it <laughs> And um, it's come in handy. And so we're, potty, we're starting their potty training today. And um, we have um, them getting very close to opening eyes. And so we're going to really kind of hit the ground running with it. I don't know what Drew showed you guys. Ruby big boy. His eyes. Hey, open your eyeball. His left eye is about half open already. He's like, guys, pick up the, pick up the pace. Oh. Oh goodness. Um. Uh, oh, there it is. Her little Let's rooms. See. Come here. Little Rubes tell. yesterday was what's that? Nothing. No, just yeah, I can't no. see one. Well. Little Rubes was too late yesterday. Let's see, is it? Good boy. Oh, oh goodness, yeah, hold still, that buddy boy. Oh goodness. Hey, Bradley. <clears throat> Two twelve. Hey, Bradley, can you go in my text messages um, with me and um, uh? Click on the farming one. Click on the f <laughs> water your harvest water water your wheat Is or feed your fish. Are they out of school? Yeah. Wait. Oh, Are they home. Should be home. I'm trying to Bradley. So, oh, and the fish one. It, you'll. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you click through there, uh, we both get fish food. Uh, Navy boy was 408 yesterday. Poop in there. Oh my god, there is poop in there. Who did that? Oh well, I'm glad we took the blanket out. Oh my goodness sakes. Did you do that, buddy, or did I just stick you in it? Hey. Or did, uh, can you check little rubes? I guess you can't see it. Did you poop? Did you poop in there? Now I'm probably going to be 
This sea um, is not so good at keeping them clean. Like, they have a lot of these poop accidents because she's not like Palm, where she goes around and is constantly like licking their butts, Tato. checking. Yeah. Palm was, I feel like Palm is always like, always had her front teeth on their bum holes, popping them like zits. Ugh. Because if she, <clears throat> if she did that, then they never needed to poop in the pen and dirty up the pen. Um, she was proactive about it. She went and collected it before it overflowed. Yeah. And which was interesting because when then when they started pooping in the tray, you could tell that they had never really have their bums really completely fill up yeah. and have to push out. But Missy yeah, Missy good. just lets them overflow. And she's always been this way. She's been this way since her first litter. Alright, buddy. I know it doesn't feel good. I've got to Missy, come here. Are you? Daisy will pie your puppies. She will. You can bring her. You don't want to potty them. We'll bring Daisy over here. Hi. Hey. Yeah, clean their butts. Potty. Terrible, I say. Potty. 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 Hey, Daisy, will come in here. I'm sorry, buddy. I know. I don't feel good. Here. You potty him now. Missy's not pellet trained, so she is a little more difficult with the potty training. Like she's not as cooperative. She just doesn't understand why we're shoving the pellets in their faces. Yeah, she's like, what are you doing? They can't eat that. <laughs> yeah, she's just very confused by it. She just, we tried to, um, we started the pellets with Daisy. Um, we brought her home. Her breeder had used pellets with her. And um, uh, when we brought her home, she whipped um, Robin, Missy, and Spike all into gear with um, their potty training. Yeah. And she got Robin on board um, with the pellets, and she got Spike and Missy going outside. Sorry. It was really funny. Yeah. It was like Daisy, really. She showed them what was up. She was like, you guys do it in the house. You're disgusting. Yeah. I'm Daisy sorry. is very, very clean and yeah, proper. And the proper That's why she's over here washing other puppies. Where is he? I don't want to kick Missy out. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Where did that land? Oh, wait. I, I caught it. I was about to go. Well, I saw it fly. It did it land on Missy? I saw it. I saw a gush. I saw you like think a... it shot out like that? Like yeah, a... I saw it. But... I don't know, my so wicky. Why do you smell that? Because I have to. There's the Ooh, bus. it is stinky. Yeah, that's bad. I'm sorry, buddy. I know it doesn't feel good. I bet you feel a heck of a lot better. That one was huge. That was like... Like a couple of days worth, because... Like, I didn't know what to do. Oh, real quick, total side note. I don't, I'm going to keep this really quick because I don't want to get all negative. Um, <clears throat> but um, if you, if our moderators are trying to settle something or if there's a lot going on and they put users in timeout, um, <clears throat> a lot of times, you know, most times they're, they'll explain to you why so that you can change. You know, the what's going on because that, that's why they're timing you out so that they can address the issue um but if it's a situation where they have to keep timing you out um that's where you will be you will end up getting hidden or banned shadow banned um you can still view the channel you can still um watch. You can, yeah you can still watch. Yeah, watch, watch. Um, Oh. Hey, stop. It's okay. Okay, Missy. It's okay, guys. Hey, bub. Hey, hold on. Hold on. So nice to see you. Um, see you too, but, <clears throat> um, we have a lot going on, and so. When our mom, when 
Um, we and our minds, if we have to keep repeating ourselves over and over again, or if we, um, if we are having to repeat ourselves over and over again to the same person. Hush. Missy. Why are the kids? Um, sorry. <clears throat> Let me say that again. If we or the mods are having to repeat what we're saying again and again, even if even if it's um, if you keep getting timed out for the same reason, yes, yeah, so, and, and again. if we're having to re-explain it because lack of understanding or lack of understanding is an explanation for repeated infractions. Um, you're going to be hidden. Um, we're not tolerating it for it. We used to put up with it for a really long time. And um, we are um, we are being more we're being firmer on that. And I just want to remind you too that it is against YouTube's terms of service to circumvent either hides or um, timeouts or bans using alt accounts, using um, sock accounts, using, you know, throwaway accounts. There's all kinds of words for it. But um, if you are hidden from a channel, your whole IP address is hidden. You can't just make another account. Like you're, that's still in violation. Um, and they're, it's, they're not supposed to be able to, but YouTube's feature seems to not be working um, with as far as um, filtering out IPs versus accounts. Um, but um, using relatives accounts is also circumventing um, using um, using any account other than your own, really, but um, that's still not acceptable um, because, again, the issues that you, if you are hidden for something, those issues are still continuing. And um, it's real easy to spot. It's real easy for our mods to spot. Um, our mods are like, <laughs> our mods are like little detectives. Um, they're really, really good at what they find. And um, they're really, really good. At yeah, I think you, you don't want to get on the radar of the mods investigating something because they might uncover more than you, you thought. <laughs> um, they'd see. But uh, so um, I'll kind of leave it at that. I just wanted to mention it. I don't want to go on and on about it, but um, just, just, Please just respect the the community yeah. and um and we will we'll all be good. <laughs> oh, anyway, back to potty training. Back to well, back to. Who needs to go? Uh, I need to weigh. You need to potty. Um, no rooms was two twelve. From the tummy tickle over here. Two oh eight to two twelve. Um, I got uh, a couple of them to. Oh, well, they're wet because I just I potted them not too long ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Yeah. Well, they were um, when when Missy was in here and she was like licking somebody. That was why I pulled that thing in. Oh goodness. Boy. Oh. Why? I'm gonna leave it earlier because yeah. I don't want it to. Go for it. You don't want it to go for a spill. Oh, but boy. You guys, or um, oh, and I was gonna be setting up our channel member, or I was gonna <clears throat> be setting up our channel. <clears throat> excuse me, our chat rooms, the chat rooms and our forums. Um, but for um, anyone who hasn't heard, for um, for our channel members, um, we are providing access to chat rooms and forums that are going to be on um, the logged in portion of our website so you have to sign up for an account we have to approve it and that's how we'll be able to filter we'll be able, we'll verify that you're a channel member yeah, sure. um it's the lowest tier just the 99 cent tier um hmm. um if you are a family if you are um if you are planning to um 
get a puppy from one of our litters this fall. Um, we don't, we don't want to charge you for that. Um, and so essentially if you're, if you're paying for a puppy, you don't have to pay for the chat room and forums to get updates on your puppy is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, that was kind of our only discomfort with channel memberships up to this point, And now we have found a way around it. So, um, if you are a family of ours, you can just go to our website and create an account and we'll just approve it. Um, you don't need to be a channel member. Uh, we have another time, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you get one for your sister too, please? Yeah. Um, uh, if you're already a channel member, it, um, you, can, you can get a head start and go to our website and just create an account. Um, um, if you, you click in the upper right hand corner to, there's like a little login button, um, and you'll just create an account. And if, if I'm unable to identify who you are based on like your, if I'm unable to put together a YouTube username with your information from your account information, I will reach out to you using that email address. So, um, but I think it's going to be a really good way to, for us to be able to stay up to date with everybody because we don't have to be running a live stream to push out information, um, about what's going on just because so much is good. Like, you know, when we were mating dogs, um, a few weeks ago, we couldn't update you guys until we turned the live stream on later that morning and so if we have a, at least the forum or a chat room even we can tell you what's going on the connection player guys play by play um, okay. it's not working thank you Bella. Minute. i just wanted to Why tell you guys Okay, Navy, what? Navy boy was four oh eight or something. Oh, I think that's uh, there. I think that was the big issue. There's poop all over the inside of it. That was the issue. We just saw that the um, big puppy live stream in the kitchen passed away, so we are really sorry about that. <laughs> passed away. <laughs> well, nice. we can't say the other word. Yeah, I can't say the other word. I thought that was that's what I'm saying. It's a good alternative. Um, it unalived itself. 
Oh. I guess that's that's not a good way yeah, to do it. Yeah, that doesn't, but passed away makes sense. Passed away, yeah. So, live stream in the kitchen, passed away, and uh, since we just started these guys, we'll just let this go for a little bit. That way we can kind of increase the bandwidth for the internet. So at least it oh. might be reduced to one stream, but at least it's a more quality stream. Yeah. And then um, uh, we can always switch it up later. Um, move it over to the big dogs. But I like the kitchen stream because I like that you guys will be able to kind of keep an eye on, keep it like kind of up to date with the moms. You'll kind of see them. Um, yeah, getting bigger. Yeah, you'll get to see them progress through their pregnancies. That's a lot of fun. It is. Like, you know, even just the other day they were their morning sickness was getting to them. And so they were vomiting. Not that that was, not that that was like enjoyable to watch, just that um, it just kind of reminded me that you will be able to see all the good parts to um, pregnancy. And I said this on the other stream earlier, but when I was growing up, we talked about all the different ways that different animals mated and courted each other and except for dogs. And I feel like that was because, um, they didn't really want to talk about dogs because dogs mating, because it was just don't breed your dogs. Don't think about it. Don't picture it. Don't learn about it. Just spay, neuter, spay, neuter, spay, neuter. And which I don't agree. I don't disagree with the, the messaging of spaying your pets that are not oh. clear to be breeding. Um, but uh, I just never knew just how complex the act, the dog courting really is because it is very Oh, and you know what that I've been thinking about um, recently is the other narratives that are pushed in order to get you to spay or neuter your your dogs. Like the um, the whole thing where, oh, you need to get your female spayed right away before she has a heat cycle because she's going to bleed all over your house. Oh, yeah, that's what's funny, is our females don't bleed all over the house because yeah. they lick it up. Like, it, it you know how your dog cleans itself, they clean themselves after they go potty? Same when they're bleeding. Yeah. They, um, as soon as they feel a little trickle, they turn around and, and start lick looking, it up. Yeah, and start cleaning away. For all of our ladies, most of our audience is female. Yeah. Um, I know that all you guys know what it feels like when you've got some of your bleeding trickling down. You can kind of, you know, that sensation and you'll want to address it when you feel it right away, don't you? <laughs> so it's not any different for the dogs who um, naturally lick there to keep it clean on a yeah. constant basis. Yeah. They are, um, a lot of times we don't even, we, we have to do yeah. a bit of an internal exam to see how much they're bleeding to determine how fertile they are because yeah. they, they lick it up so they much. Clean, yeah, they clean themselves a lot, but yeah, yeah that's... They, but then, that was a really good point. But then the other narrative that I've been thinking about is um, how there's this like notion of you need to get your boy neutered right away or else he's going to start marking all over your house. Oh, yeah, which is and funny because that, whenever, yeah. whenever we neutered our boys early, they started marking way worse. Yeah, exactly. Way worse. Like and you, our intact dogs don't mark as much as, as much. our neutered boys did. Right, so... I, I was just thinking about that. I, I can't remember what family it was. They were talking about, um, they, they had like a family member saying, you need to get your girl um, spayed, spayed right away so she doesn't bleed. Bleed all over. Yeah, bleed yeah. all over. And we're like, mm, they, they don't, don't bleed they don't, all they don't, over. Yeah, they don't bleed that bad. Um, they, if they bleed, it's like a teen, it's, it's not like, like a period. It is nothing like a period. Yeah. It's more of a pink discharge that's a much better description it's more of just a, a, a discharge with a tinge of blood um because we look at it and to determine how fertile they are is basically how pale it is yeah. the paler it is the <clears throat> closer she is to <clears throat> excuse me, being fertile yeah. yeah um because it starts out kind of it's um like a half and half mixture of bleeding and just regular fluid um, but and then, yeah, as they get more fertile, it becomes thinner and thinner. Yeah, they just it's, it's um, more of a lubricant. And it's we've been talking to our families lately too about <clears throat> a lot of uh, one of the schools of thinking lately about um, spaying and neutering your pets 
is that you should at least let your female go through a cycle or two um, and let your boys reach maturity because it's not only in, and you know, as people, like as intelligent human beings, we all know this, but like we, I was never like, I was just told space, space, space. But um, your puberty is not only responsible for our primary sex organs. Um, for any of our dogs to mature, like males, for instance, they serve as a good example because they have um, they have bigger builds that a lot of times they most of the time they don't fill out until they have gone through their sexual maturation or the, um, where they bulked up and filled out. And so when you neuter before they've essentially gone through puberty, you're, um, they're not allowed, they're not going through that, that phase of maturation. And so they kind of just skip it. They continue growing to their adult size, but they don't, their bodies never really go through that, um, that maturation that it would have gone through those, those secondary characteristics. Um, they, they just kind of, they just skip it. And so that's why we encourage families to, um, um, if they're if they're willing to um, wait a cycle and just um, be very keen on watching their their puppy, um, just be very careful with them. Make sure you keep them inside um, that they're not <clears throat> around any males because an intact male will try to get to her. Um, <clears throat> um, and so just make sure you keep her inside. They can have their heat cycles as early as four months. Um, one of Daisy's puppies, I believe her family um, messaged us and said that her heat cycle started at four months. But um, it can be as early as four months. Typical is more about like seven to eight. Um, it can be after a year, though. Um, and then as for boys, they don't really obviously don't have a cycle to wait for. But essentially, you can kind of just feel their balls, and Ugh. once their balls have matured, like Rio's right now, they're probably about halfway grown, um, and you can just kind of feel for um, when they're when they're mature. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, oh, sorry. Um, one one ovulation cycle in in a teenage girl is obviously doesn't bring her to complete sexual maturity but you know with your dog you know it's at least it's better than nothing yeah. you know and it at least allows all those hormones to course through and for everything to um mature enough to the point where you know they they could be um they could be oh yeah uh mature enough to produce a litter of their own, um, then, then you're probably good for to spay or neuter. But I remember when I was growing up, we had border collies and the vet told us if we neutered earlier, it would stop our boys from barking as much. And the opposite could not have been more true. And when I look back, our, boys ended up when they grew they grew tall but they were not muscular they were not filled out they were real scrawny and i just wonder now in hindsight if that had anything to do with it because we neutered him at like four months old so he didn't um he didn't have any like testosterone yeah stuff. he didn't have any hormones, hormones. Sorry. That's right. So, uh, Navy boy, uh, was four weight yesterday. And then he took that gigantic poop when I was cleaning him. And so he's four ten right now. Um, you okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Migraine. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's, uh, a little try girl. Try girl. Shy try. Shy try. Shy try. So she was two twenty yesterday. That's, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm sorry, wrong one. I almost made a mistake there. Good thing I checked it. <laughs> uh, I need a little, little try guy. Little try, so little try guy yesterday was 220. He had lost six. And now he's 238. Okay, good. 
38. Mr. Now, try girl. Uh, try girl was 326 yesterday. 26 to 346. Good girl. Good girl. Wee. Good girl. And um, just a quick reminder that our litters in the fall that we'll be having, um, two of them will be. Um, rainbow litters where they can be all colors and then one of them will be a tricolor blenheim litter um that's what the, that's what the litters should look like but we've been surprised before so <laughs> yeah uh, um yeah I want the I mean, i'm curious what uh myra and spike will, will produce uh and then lastly we've got um uh, big boy Ruby. That's right. Big boy Ruby. Come here, buddy. Big rubes. Come here, big rubes. Big rubes was 402 yesterday. Now, oh my goodness. Hold still. Hold still. It's okay. It's okay. I bet he'll, he'll be holding his eye nice and wide now. Yeah. It's, about, it's like half open, his left eye. He's so cute. He's such a little teddy bear. 452. Dang, he's a big teddy bear. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Big Blend Boy is still the largest at 490, followed by uh, Big Boy Ruby. Hey Daisy, how are you? Little oh, Rube's only gained four, but that's probably just because he's he's done that yeah. before. Oh, uh, and he's been having a couple of those. He was like one eighty, then he jumped to two hundred two, and then he only went to two hundred eight, and now he's at two twelve. So. Put on 10 grams in the last two days. So. These toys were given to us by Juno's family, I think. Juno's family? I think so. Yeah, they um, so I'm going to just kind of, since um, Big Boy Ruby's eyes are opening, I'm just going to put them in here so that there's something um, pleasant to look at that is positive and part of their world. This is one of those really awesome teaser ones that the dogs are always bickering over. Does it pull apart? I don't think it does. Yeah, it's uh, just a, a little teething ring. Come here. I'll try. Come on. Come get cozy with your litter mates. Cozy. Come on. Warm spot. I mean, do you think supplementing with the colostrum would? Why do we need to? I don't. I'm not worried about him. You're not worried about him. What's his weight? Uh, two twelve. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two twelve. Yeah. Two twelve. Yeah. Two twelve. Because with my migraines and stuff, I haven't heard his individual weight day by day since like three days ago. And three days mm -hmm. ago, he was like one sixties. He was one eighty three days ago. One eighty three. Yeah. Three days ago, and then. The last time I heard, he was one. Yeah. So two twelve. That's. Good. Three or four days. Then, uh, try girl. It's 238. He was sick. He said for. Try is 238, was 202. So, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. 
over analyzing. Forty-seven message notifications from the RBC project. <laughs> I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit so you guys can see the puppies better. Is that just since the since we sat down? What are you doing? Do you need water? That's No, there's me and Bradley prayed on it. I actually went to the day we went shopping. Yeah, you have one second. I'm not Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, on Monday, we went shopping before Bradley left for school. Yeah. I just said that we prayed on it and said I was joking, and so I started praying. <laughs> And so we all, the three of us, sat here and we really and Bella, we sat here and we prayed. Pray and Bella did not get a migraine. And then basically, if I did, then it would be a simple way. Oh. And then I get a migraine. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to let the dogs out. I'm going to let the dogs out. Boys and girls, but step there with them, make sure they don't do it at all or run out of game. OMG. Bella. Bella, mommy has a migrant that is going to be wrong. Oh, my
I see. I'm supposed to stay over there.
Bless you.
So, last three days, I struggle to get Remy to come in. Like everyone else, they're like, oh god, it's hot out here. Like, you know, let's go inside. So it's easy to like corral everyone in. But Remy, she never comes in when called. And so today, today I go out and she's over to the north of the house in the grass. And she's just like, her bella. Her nose is just buried in the grass, just sniffing, hunting around, going around the trees. And like, I'm yelling, calling at him, calling her from the porch, and she's just not even lifting her head up. Like and macchiato. what's that? Like macchiato. Kind of like macchiato. But I go out there to see what she's doing. And right as I'm getting close to her, I see her like, her ears like perk up, and then she jumps her face in the grass and then I see her come up. Do you she want to catch one of those things? Cicadas. She is Ew. she is hunting Jesus. cicadas uh, out there. Gross. And I mean like she must be just filling herself up on them Ew. because oh, she's gonna be vomiting them. Was, was it her last Maybe it was. Yeah, so all those we had cicadas and vomiting yeah. cicadas. Yeah. Gross, ew. It's so, so gross. They're so funny. Yeah, and that's what's really weird is like we found one and it like it fluttered off and then down into the grass and she was hunting around for it and you could hear it like its wings beaten. Ew. Lifts her head up and it's okay. I see. So something. Missy. You under there? Missy. Yes, you are. I see that tail wagging. Yeah. Yeah, careful, use a tree. Use a tree. Okay, well, she's over there. Daisy can use it. Daisy, no.
Ja. Jag går i pom pom, säg pom pom till nursen. Jag går i pom pom och säg pom pom till nursen. Now I can see in Yeah, yeah, she was blonde, so you can't get out. Easy, come here. Come on, Daisy. Come on out then, Missy. I can help it. Yeah. Come on, Missy. Missy, do you want Daisy to come potty your puppies? Yeah. Come on, Daisy. Oh. Come on, Missy. The dogs understand way more English than we give them credit for. Come on then, Missy. Or someone get Daisy. Come on. Come on, get Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy girl. Yeah, there you go. Girl, Missy. <laughs> Go to your puppies. Go to your pups. First, I want to eat Daisy's face. We didn't get her. Relax. Your puppies are over there. Go take care of them so that we don't have to get her. No. Go take care of puppies so we don't have to grab Daisy. Go take care of your puppies. Go clean your puppies. But Daisy would be happy to clean them. She's like, I want a written letter saying you will not bring Daisy by my puppies. We're going to resolve this fair and square. Oh, stop. You don't want Daisy to feed them and potty them, then you come feed them and potty them. The answer isn't just to go fight Daisy. The answer is for you to take care of your own puppies. Because Daisy has been taking care of lots of puppies. Puppies that aren't even hers. Poor Daisy. She needs a break. Play with your puppies. She's so silly because she, it's not like she should be burned out or anything from them. She doesn't exactly overwhelm herself with the puppy. Um, I wash these ones. Oh, I would. No, what are your puppies?
Oh, we don't need to text our emails to Jones because Can I have a nurse lap? This is Springer. Set over the collage. Later on, uh, she came over and looked at her. I still have.
post like it. It's almost like first and second day. I was like nervous, but like I only keep every day I keep getting more and more aware. So far, tomorrow's an hour and a half. Ever since we had the morning, lately. I love you,
Hold on. Bella. And I like hot frogs the bars, Mom. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What's that?
the snack on. Is that Dad's idea? He was in there. Oh, where is he? Mm-hmm. It's, it's already here. Mom.
Thank you.
Hi there, hi there. Hi, Michelle and Nikki. Amber, hi there. Lisa is on. Missy, where are you? Missy. Come on, baby.
Merci. Rubes is trying to walk. Bless you, Bella.
this is the point. Caller. Oh. Elizabeth. Someone left. Elizabeth. Oh. You can't hear that. You cannot hear the music. Open it. Get ready.
tangled. Her legs are tangled.
Mom. Hi, boy. Um, um, this
Right done. Alright. Is right done? Yes, the right done. Look at that, the right done. Look at that. The picture. Uh oh.
again. Oh. Is that some dinner? No, we got full. We went back dinner time. Oh, you okay? Oh. So, Would you rather have the ability to have super speed or to fly? Super speed. <coughs> Missy! Yeah. 
Yeah. Why? That's your super speed. If you had super speed, you would blow up and kill me. Well, that's a ton an untimely end. Yeah, but it's it looks cool. So I basically cry. Okay. <clears throat> Love you.
Love you, Mom.
Let's take up more of the bed of mom.
off because we're going to put on Jamie's and you're going to go night-night. Bella, I took them off because you're going to put on Jamie's and you're going to go up to your bed. Go to sleep? No, oh, not go to sleep. You're just going to go up to your bed to relax. Me. No, Bella. Not tonight. No, he's got a really bad migraine. Why do you guys keep bonking each other off? Annabelle Rose.
No, but don't move her, don't move her. Wait. Let's see. Wait.
Missy.
संपूर्ण Well, you know, 
doing? What are you doing?
Okay, I'm just gonna carry you off then. You get me.
at all.
system. So argue with them. Military.
No.
outside. Let's go outside. Easy, come on, let's go outside. Good night, everybody. We'll see you guys in the morning. Sleep well. Good night, good night.